Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. And in this video, I want to introduce you to Tessa, our design transformer. Okay, She is a new chat bot that I've put together to help members of the AI Profit Society or members of the Creative AI Prompt Library to take existing images, existing prompts, and turn them into something completely unique and your own. With uh, the recent update to Etsy's creative standards, uh, using something that's original, uh, whether it is in if you're selling digital files or physical products, whatever it is, having unique and, and original designs is extremely important. Okay. So I know I give you prompts and, you know, everybody in the group is getting the same prompt, but I always try to make sure I tell you ways to change things up. I don't uh, put these on a particular product and tell you that you should be using this design on this product because I don't want a hundred people selling the same exact tumbler wrapper, the same exact wind spinner. I want you to take the prompts, make them your own, and put them on the products that you want to put them on, okay? So Tessa is just here to help us take this one step further, all right? She is your complete design transformer. So let's say I am over here in Recraft here, and I have this image that I created quite a while ago. Uh, always prove them wrong. So let's say I really like this image, but I want to change it up too. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy this image and once it's copied, I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to give it to Tessa. All right. And I don't even have a solid plan in mind. All right. I'm just giving her the image right now. And what she is going to do is come back and say, what are you thinking? What do you think you want to do here? What niche or theme do you want to adapt this image for? Let's say, and she gives me some ideas. So let's say, let's go with cozy witch core. All right. And what parts of the original image do I want to keep? I want the character because I really like the character. Character pose, big eyes, uh, the edgy fashion. And I want to change the colors to something more jewel toned and dark. And I like the art style. And I'd like, let's say, I'd like to change the phrase but I need help with that. Okay, so I'm gonna give her that information. So she has a little bit of information about what I'd like to keep, what I'd like to uh, change. And here she says, okay, let's talk about that phrase. The original always proved them wrong, has punch, but feels punk more than witchcore. So let's say, Let's go with not all spells need to be broken. Okay, I like that. And let's just give her that. Tell her which phrase we want to keep. And she's like, perfect. And that's all I needed. Now she is going to give me a new prompt. Okay, and let's come back over here. Let's move this. Let's do image. Whoa. Let's make that one smaller. Okay, let's 
make this one a little bigger. All right. So let's paste this prompt in here. And I want to use the same model that I used for the original, which is high dream. And I'm going to have it create four versions. So this was the image we started with. And now we're going to see what Tessa gave us. Okay, and here is the new version. Not all spells need to be spoken. So we started with this image, and we just told Tessa what we wanted to change, what we wanted to keep, you know, the colors, the vibe, and now we have a completely new and original design that is all, all ours. All right, so let's do this again. Let's take... All right, I did this see you later, the see you later alligator image. So let's go there and we have the prompt here for it, but we don't need that. We just want the image. And we're going to take that back over and we're going to give that to Tessa. And she's going to ask us again, what do you want to do with this? What niche or theme? And I want to go with gothic horror niche. I want to keep the alligator, make him more creepy and scary looking. Uh, keep the phrase change the colors to a darker gothic palette add some gothic elements and keep it on a white background okay so we're going to completely change the the look of this design and there she gave us our new prompt. So let's go in here and let's make this the same size. Let's paste that prompt in. And again, we were using High Dream. And let's see what we get now. Okay, so here is our new version. It's creepier spookier but it's still the same style you know the same phrase the same character but it is a completely different and unique take on it and that's what tessa is here to do she is here to help you turn any image into your unique vision of it okay and she can do this with you know any image at all it doesn't matter um let's say let's come in here let's look over here on the side for some of these other images we might have done that may okay we have some birds here all right let's take these birds copy Copy image to clipboard. Let's take this one to Tessa. And we can go, you know, completely, completely different here. All right. Um, all right, let's do spooky Halloween niche. Change the birds to opossums hanging from the branch by their tails and change the color palette to a spooky Halloween theme. And let's say, make the mood dark. Keep the white background and keep the art style. All right. So now here's something completely different. 
we've taken those four birds and we're going to change them into something completely different. So let's grab that. Let's come back over here. And again, this was done in High Dream. So let's start a new image. Paste that in. High Dream for images. And we'll give it a minute to run the prompt. Okay, so now here is our new image with our possums hanging from the tree branch. And that looks kind of cute. I'm not real sure about how it rendered it, but it still came out super cute. In fact, we can try this in another image generator. Let's try it in Artistly. And let's go to AI Illustrator. Let's paste that in here and run two. We'll see what Artistly does. Okay, and here is Artistly's version. So you've got these four cute little possums hanging from the branch, and that is completely adorable. And it is completely different from what we started out with, right? So now here's the fun part. Like, let's take this new gothic alligator, okay? Let's copy this prompt in here that Tessa made for us. And now take it to our prompt variation generator and say, scale this prompt for different animals and phrases. And then paste that in there. And let's make sure, because I do want these all on a white background. Let's isolate it on white. Oh, it does say centered on a white background. Okay, so, and let's just enter. And now this is going to give us even more prompts, more variations, okay? So let's start, and let's check this first one. Let's, let's use Artistly for this. Let's just go in here. Pop it in and run this prompt. Now remember, this we started out with this. This right here is the image we started with. And then we had Tessa change it to a spookier alligator. And now we just ran it through our prompt scaler for different animals and different things. And now we have this. We have the raven with nevermore. Or let's what goes what's next. And now we have this one. And I believe this is a black cat. But you get the idea. What is happening is we took, you know, the original image, we changed it up, we made it our own. And even beyond that, then we expanded it even further by taking it into the prompt variations and we made even more completely unique designs. So that's what Tessa can do for you. Okay. She can help you uh, make any design you want just from a starting image, just from a feeling you have. If you just like an image, just drag it in and see where it goes. Okay. So you can find her. I'll make sure I put a link in the AI Profit Society for her. And you will also find a link in the Creative AI Art Library if you are a member of that as well. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you next time.